My name is Melissa, and my teammates Wu and Kami and I have been working with the B2 Watchers Group, which is a neighborhood watch group serving the B2 area, the northeast community of Jackson. Um, many of us have neighborhood watch groups in our communities. However, most of us don't know that they exist, or we don't know where to go to get involved with them. Um, while working with B2, we discover that a successful neighborhood watch group is one that is easily discoverable and engages its residents to share in the wealth of knowledge. Um, in order to increase awareness of the group and engage residents, we did two things. First, we created a visual identity for the group. This logo easily communicates the mission of the group um, with the I and the name of the group so that people who see this logo will know about the group and this logo can easily be reproduced as on stickers, flyers, and spread across the community. Um, the next thing that we did was to streamline the information. We took two approaches in doing this. One is an online solution and one was an offline solution. Um, the online space is a Facebook page because we found that 82% of Jackson residents are current Facebook users, so we thought this would easily target them. And for those that don't feel as comfortable using an online method of communication, as many people aren't so comfortable with it, we installed a public bulletin board outside the community center in um, the B2 neighborhood. And this community center gets 100 daily visitors, so we thought that this would reach those who aren't on Facebook. Um, and we, um, through both of these efforts, we hope that this increase in awareness and these spaces for engagement will spread the knowledge of B2 across their neighborhood. Thanks. Great, so I, I like the idea and I like the way that you guys tried to take a multifaceted approach to solving their um, awareness challenge um, and discoverability challenge. One thing that uh, comes to mind for me is, uh, you know, would it be, let me take a step back. So the the fact that this is called B two Watchers, but in like the logo it says Neighborhood Watch. But really, when you were describing it to me, it seemed like this was about more than Neighborhood Watch. When I think Neighborhood Watch, that is a connotation of like you know public safety, and it seems like this is a little much more broad than that. So one thing I would think about is you know is there a more holistic definition of of the services that B two Watchers provides, and if that could also inform your content strategy on Facebook or in this bulletin board, um, could be really interesting to have it grow. Um, I like the two aspects. Um, I think linking the two, so figuring out a way for the, um, and, and this wasn't my idea, I forget, somebody else in the crowd mentioned this, linking um, the, uh, getting the information that's posted on the um, bulletin board onto Facebook and vice versa, um, so that you can capture all of that, um, there won't be a disconnect. Um, and I think that it's great that there is an existing group that um, is going to maintain this. Um, it's a little young of an organization, um, and yeah, seven years. So um, you know, sometimes those kind of groups, there's like one person who does it, and, and so I'm, I'm, you know, fingers crossed that that's a sustainability um, model that'll work. But um, I think it's uh, got a lot of potential. As soon as you said one person, all I could think of is Mrs. Kravitz next door pointing out <laughs> what's going on. And too many of you are too young to know what that is. But <laughs> um, when I looked at this um, and we talked, I, I, I understood the whole aspect of it, that the, it's concerned citizens wanting to, to raise awareness for their neighborhood. And whether it's um, crime related or safety issue, um, street light that's out, hole in the pavement, um, potholes, whatever. It's it's stuff that they could communicate. And I the struggle I think that we, we tend to have and I and I really think that, that this could actually be a, the start of building something is uh, neighborhood associations or neighborhood groups uh, tend to only want to engage when they really need something. They don't want City Hall to come down and say this is what you should do. They want to be able to reach out and grab this information and share this information and try and say city please listen to our concerns. And so, you know, I think that you can springboard this into, into something even more. And it can be, instead of the, the B2 watchers, maybe it, it, it's um, A1, B2, C3, you know, in, in the six different wards or the six different neighborhoods and try to establish that, that 
pocketed community versus, okay, I'm reporting uh, some suspicious activity on the northwest side. Well, the southeast side doesn't really worry about that. So maybe it's having a little bit more of a targeted approach, especially I like the fact that you targeted Facebook because 82% of people are touching Facebook. You're, you're hitting the maximum amount of, amount of people. But I think this is something that could definitely grow and develop.